Hello and welcome. Now, just say you'd left your revision to the last minute or you just wanted to know last minute things you could do to really boost yourself, really boost your knowledge and make the best of the exam. Can you save the day with any last minute revision? Is there anything you can do to help yourself? This video has been recorded on the eve of the ICT exam. There's an NXL IGCSE ICT exam on the 11th of November. And so you might be watching this now. This is the 9th of November and might be thinking, what can I do? What last minute things can I do to get myself ready for the exam that's coming up soon? So can you save the day with some last minute revision? Absolutely you can and you should. Even if you've left it to the 11th hour and you're literally two days before the exam or a day before the exam and you start opening your books, you start revising, you should do that because anything is better than nothing. Absolutely it is. Here are my tips and tricks. Hopefully you haven't left it to the last minute. So if that is you, maybe next time if you've got an exam in June, maybe you start revising a little bit earlier. In fact, if you have got an exam in June and you're watching this in November, start revising now, definitely. There is still time though if you haven't, so use it. Go through the PLC, link in the description. Pick areas you're weakest at, the red areas. Focus on improving these. Use the knowledge organizers, again, link in the description to help you with quick definitions of things that you must know. Here is the PLC that I'm linking to in the description. Now I've done videos on this before and I'm a firm believer that this is a really good thing. This is really gonna help you. It's broken up into paper one and paper two. Paper one is a theory paper. And we've got all the different sections there. Topic one, two, three, and four. And then for paper two, we've got topics five and six. Now go through that, print it off ideally, or just write on the PDF. Mark all the red areas. Spend about half an hour on this. It is time worth spending because it will highlight the areas that you don't know now and you need to work on. What you need to focus on are the red areas. So go through this list, red, amber, green, rate yourself, and it's the reds that need to be our priority. So you're triaging this, looking at the priorities. What are the priorities for revision right now? It should be the red areas. It should be the areas that you're weakest on. With limited time, with limited time, it should be the red areas. It should be the areas that you're weakest on that you need to work on first. So do yourself a favor, download the PLC, Go through it, red, amber, green, rate yourself. It's really gonna help you. It's, yes, it's half an hour. It may take you half an hour to go through this, but that is time worth spending because what it's gonna do is it's gonna highlight the areas that you know, and more importantly, the areas that you don't know. So you're not wasting time on things that you already know. You're focusing on the stuff that you don't know. Once you've done that, go and pick the areas. Go and pick up your revision textbook. Go and pick up the knowledge organizers that I've linked to below and start going through those areas. Start improving your knowledge in those areas. So let's go and have a look at some eight mark questions. Now, people ask me all the time. I get emails and get comments on my videos. What about these eight mark questions? How do we answer them? So to help you with that, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks from the Chief Examiner. Chief Examiner from Edexcel. So here's a very typical eight mark question from June, 2019. It's very typical of the questions that come at the end of paper one. For eight marks, you wanna discuss the impact of VLEs on learners. So how do we answer this question? Let's look at the examiner report. Many responses were focused on the positive aspects with common positive aspects being fact checking by moderators and ability to use referencing facilities. When candidates failed to gain marks, it was often because their responses related to features of the VLEs rather than their impact. So they're not looking at the impact of the VLE, they're just spending time discussing the features, they may know VLEs inside and out, but they're not answering the question, they're not discussing the impact. Or they simply refer to the impact of the internet across access rather than focusing on VLEs required by the question. So it's not asking about internet access. Negative aspects focused on health and safety and usage of computers in general. One common misconception was the reference to virtual reality and simulations. VLEs, VLE stands for virtual learning environment. It's nothing to do with virtual reality or any simulation or any modeling or anything like that. So this is a model answer given by the exam board. 
Now this is a student's actual work and they've gone through this and, and they've marked it. And as we go through it, try and think about what mark this would get. So we're just going to read this through. Handwriting's okay. Um, I think I, I'd prefer it to be a little bit neater, but as long as it's readable, that's okay. The virtual learning environment is a great tool to help learners throughout their studies. It gives access to a big span of functions such as, so we're now going to go into the functions and they've numbered them. Number one, giving learners the access to the, to newer, to, right, back up, handwriting, couldn't read it. Give it access, access to their homework or tasks online so it can be accessed from any device at any place of the world which makes learning more reliable and effective. That is absolutely true. You can access, it can access VLEs uh, as long as you've got internet access, it can be anywhere in the world. Number two, it gives the learners an opportunity to cooperate in their tasks, their classmates. So if there was a group project that needs to be done, it could be accepted by two group users of users on a VLE. Collaboration, great point. Three, the VLE increases the control between contact between a teacher and a student. For example, if a student struggles in a task, he needs help from his tutor. He'll be able to send him a help throughout the VLE or note file or useful learning video, etc. Right, scrolled a bit too quickly there. So that's some of the positives, but we do need some negatives to get the maximum marks out of this. So I would, what I do, would I do differently? I'd possibly just write that negative there, maybe do a plus and a minus just to be clear. Here's a negative. However, some of the students might become used to a VLE, which makes them reluctant to work with paper tasks using the internet, without using the internet, sorry. Also, by continuously using a computer to enter a VLE, the health of the students, such as eyesight or back, might suffer. So health and safety issues there. Two negatives there. In conclusion, I would say that the VLE has a positive impact on learners as it gives access to loads of learning materials, as well as an increase as well as increase the communication between learners and teachers. That is a really great answer. Now, what mark would you give that? Let's scroll down and find out. It was a level three response. It got seven marks. Why did it get seven marks and not eight? Well, the response includes a range of points with most supported by examples. It considered both sides and mostly, but not always, for example, the section related to health and safety link clearly to the scenario but the clear lack of linkage to the scenario throughout was awarded seven marks so the scenario if i scroll back up for you to have a look this is a scenario james teaches in the school that uses a wide a local area network and a wide area network so had this student referred to james as the teacher instead of the teacher uh, they may have scored extra marks there. Sounds like a minor point, but they should, you should always, always, always refer back to the scenario. So if you're given a name there, use the name in your answer for that eight mark question. Refer back to that, that person. And if they're a teacher, consider how, as a teacher, the VLE is going to help support them. So always, 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 as I said in many videos, refer back to the scenario, read that carefully. If you're given a name, make sure you read it carefully, make a note of that, and in your answer to this question, you refer to that. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck with your exams if you're taking them in a few days' time. Let me know how they get on. And please consider liking and subscribing. And thanks very much for watching. Catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.